The Old Prussians were a collection of tribes that lived in what is now Poland and Lithuania. Just like their neighbours to the west, the Wends, and to the east, the Livonians, they had remained pagan up until the 12th century. The Polish Kingdom under Boleslav I did launch a destructive campaign in the region in the late 10th century, but they were driven out within a century. However, in the middle of the 12th century, the Holy Roman Empire annexed pagan land in Germany, and the Christian duchies of Pomerania and Pomeralia were created and later vassalised by the Danes. Then, in the early 13th century, a crusade against the Livonians to the east had subdued most of the Baltic region, so the Prussian tribes were all but surrounded by Christian states. However, the Prussians, who had potentially over 100,000 people, were still able to launch campaigns and raids of their own, particularly in Polish Mazovia. Then, in 1206, Christian of Oliva was sent to northern Poland to try and convert the population. He managed to convert some like the leader of Lubawa, but his reports of Prussian raids convinced Pope Norius III to launch a crusade in 1217. The Prussians, however, responded by destroying churches and crops, and the Christians had to pay them for peace. Crusaders finally began gathering in the region in 1219, and in 1222 they were joined by noblemen like Henry of Silesia. They were able to rebuild the defences in the region, but by 1223 most of the Crusaders just returned home, and the Prussians attacked again. For instance, they sacked Chelmno and forced Conrad of Mazovia to flee to Plock. So Christian of Oliva helped to create the Order of Dobzin to defend the region, but they only ever numbered a couple dozen people, so they could not stop the Prussian raids. So Christian then turned to the Teutonic Knights for help. They had been formed in the Holy Land in the late 12th century and helped the Hungarians fight the invading nomadic Cumans. But in 1225 they tried to set up their own state within Hungary and were expelled. So with Conrad of Mazovia's support, Christian was able to get Hermann von Salzer, the Grand Master of the Teutonic Knights, to fight the Prussians. But the Teutonic Knights delayed their crusade and got Conrad, the Pope, and Frederick II, the Holy Roman Emperor, to agree that the knights could rule over their conquests independently, and they also gained or forged a claim to Chelmno, which was under Conrad's rule. They arrived in northern Poland in 1229 and began leading small raids along the Vistula River, and built new forts like Torun, but again many of the Polish, German and Pomeranian soldiers that had joined them just returned home. So initially the knights were on the defensive, but they were still able to fight off a Pomeranian assault on Torun and create new forts. Then in 1233 Pope Gregory IX was able to get thousands of men to join in the crusade. With their help, the knights crushed the Pomeranians in battle and divided their territory with Christian of Oliva's bishopric. But this angered Conrad of Masovia and he refused to take part in any further campaigns. The knights continued to subdue the Pomeranians for the next couple years, while in the east, the Sword Brothers in Livonia were fighting a crusade against the Lithuanians. They were, however, defeated at the Battle of Sorle in 1237, so the Teutonic knights agreed to partially unite their territories. Then, in Prussia, the Teutonic Knights were prepared to advance again. They first of all sailed and landed in Pogasanian territory and took their capital. The next year, they continued east and annexed Warmian land, and by 1240, they managed to expand into Bartian and Natangian territory as well. However, Svantolpec, the Christian Duke of Pomeralia, grew suspicious of their conquests, so aligned himself with the conquered Prussians, and the first Prussian uprising broke out in 1242. The knights were quickly outnumbered and retreated to their castles, where they were safe from the Prussians who lacked siege equipment. And after a few years of warfare, the future Pope Urban IV forced Svantolpec to make peace with the knights in 1248. And a few months later, he was able to get the Prussians to lay down their arms by promising that the knights would grant converts more freedoms. However, the knights still attacked the Natangians in 1249, but were crushed at the Battle of Kruken. Nevertheless, the region was still pacified after large forts like that at Koningsberg were constructed. In 1252, they continued to try to expand, but their assault on the Sambians ended in failure, so another crusade was called for. With the help of Pope Innocent IV, thousands of soldiers joined in the crusade, and so too did nobles like Ottokar II of Bohemia and Otto III of Brandenburg. The Sambians were unable to hold back this large army, their land was annexed, and they were forced to convert by 1255. But the Teutonic Knights would quickly become embroiled in a war against the Lithuanians, and during this war the Prussians would rise up again in 1260. 